Take Podcast with Brucey, Chop and Lush. How are we, gents? Chop. We're back. Cut the music, you've got a serious matter. <laughs> Cut your music, DJ. Don't even fade it. Cut it. Now, according to last week's podcast, you would be the PSA champion of athletics with a 100-metre time of 11 seconds. <laughs> was I? So, did Mate, you put a bit of mayo on that? I think I should clarify because <laughs> I seconds. thought about it and I was like, 11 seconds is fucking quick, man. And then you know, what I remember that from I remember it was a fucking me and 100 yards. Sorry, maybe? no, no, no. Listen, this is how it was me and Stefan Paduano had a race and we were racing, and the teacher was doing a stopwatch, so she may have fucked it up. I guarantee See, she what, fucked what, it up. What, what was the PSA record? 11.44. <laughs> <laughs> You never did track. Where did you get that? <laughs> on the internet. <laughs> I thought about it, I was like, that's oh, queer. Oh. No. Definitely put a bit of mayo on that. Yeah, a couple seconds. Not ashamed yeah. of that. It's all right, Damon. It's put all right. I reckon I'd run a 19 second 100 metres. Yeah. I'm actually curious to see what I could run it in. I reckon I reckon in my peak, I was pretty fucking quick, though. Maybe you're yeah. obviously not PSA record quick, but. Definitely not PSA record quick. I was pretty quick. <laughs> Should have pushed for the Olympics. Fucking oath. Olympics done. Why are you shitting on my dreams, but <laughs> No, I'm not. They're no dreams. I just... How to, fucking funny is that? It was a good two-week... It's yeah. good. Br- bridging gap. Just always something on. You know, to the Premier League and the NFL starting soon. Even waking up first thing in the morning and just whacking it straight on. Mm. And there'd always be something just starting out. Shinya at night was good. Gazy. Definitely loved the first week. Like that. I did. See, I don't think it was that. Just because you got to wrap up of all the stuff yeah. that happened in the day, because I didn't catch it. I didn't catch did a lot. You, of that did you see when he had the awkward interaction with the the woman? I think who was I forgot her name, but she was actually in Japan, and what and one of the, the who's the other guy he did it with? Andy Ma. Andy Ma kept calling her she or something like that, and she spat it. She was not happy. It was why fu- is she? Well, non. He forgot her name. And he's just going, she's over there, and uh, right. we're over here, and she's there. And she's like, she has a name. <laughs> right. I remember your mum used to do that. Did your mum uh, used to do that? Yeah, yeah. She's the cat's mother. That's give, it, give it to her. Her? Yeah. That's her? what mum would say. She's the cat's mother. I have a name. Yeah. All right, Linda. What was, your, right, mum. What was your favourite week, the first or second week? Oh, uh, the kind of the old. They all blend in, don't they? Yeah. I like the athletics, but the swimming was really good. I like the swimming. I like that. Yeah, it's... Even split. Yeah. Best moment? I thought that's a fan question, so do we save that for later? Well, we're on the topic now. My favourite moment thanks was the, question, the bronze Stephen. medal for the Boomers. Yeah? That's all time. Nice. Chop. Uh, the, uh, what was her name? Fox, the one who did the canoeing. Uh, she got the bronze in her favourite event and then came back and got a gold in the other one. And that was her first time. Titmus with the coach. Commenting. Titmus with the coach. That's a good one. That was the best one. Yeah. But I did like um, – remember when in 2000 when everyone was just gathered – you knew everyone was at their TV for Kathy's race. Yeah, you just knew what time it was. Everyone. Yeah. There was like that I – felt, I felt like it was like that again for Peter Bowl for his race in the Oh, yeah. yeah. That was yeah, good absolutely. Little, towards the end. Ooh, yeah, that was actually – that was, that was one of the better moments. Yeah. That was, yeah. I mean, like it's disappointing he finished fourth. Yeah. So They know, reckon it was too slow, the, the actual race for him. Like he needed everyone to go out harder. So they tired. They came home too strong. Right. So they were saying the split time. Because yeah. it was five seconds off the world record or something like that, which is cool. Yeah, he yeah, really just finished slow. behind the three. Yeah. I mean, he's still the fourth no, fastest in the world for over four, 800 metres. He'll definitely get up there, I think, for the next one. Next oh, one's Paris. I don't know. I don't think he's is old. He young? I don't think he's old. Is it Paris? Paris, I think, is next. Paris. Paris. Speaking of Paris. Wow, good segue. That's a natural segue. The best player in the world is going to the PSG. Brenda yeah. Favola. Yeah. That is quite big news, but where yeah. else is he going to go? No one can afford him. <laughs> well, it's done deal now, isn't it? Yeah, he just agreed to terms. If you, if, you, deal. if you legitimately had a go at getting him, you'd make it work. Yeah. So if you were, um, let's say hypothetically, Chelsea, and he said, "I want to go to London, I want to play for Chelsea," you'd find you you'd have to find a way to get him in. Oh, you want eighty million a year? Okay, okay, that's fine. No worries. What, this is you're going to make want? that in the yeah. first day in Jersey. Or do we need to sales. sell a few players? Yeah. What did they work out that Barca are going to lose on like a day or a year? Oh, I don't it's, know. It's, it's like 120 in the hundreds about the La Liga? Yeah. The whole La Liga, the whole La Liga is, La Liga fucked, is fucked. The La, La Liga is going to be what the French well, League Real Madrid, is a shadow. PSG no is the new Real Madrid. Pretty much. Yeah. 
It used to be the Galacticos, whatever though. They reckon know. Mbappe will go though. Yeah. Not this summer. Not while he's got Messi nah, there. Why would you? Why uh, would you? Just win a Champions League and then you know, then fuck go. off at the end How's of the season. How's Aguero signs for Barca? He's out for <laughs> 10 weeks as well. Yeah. Calf injury. Fuck. They've just gone Lucky down. He played the copper the with So at least he has that. Yeah. But, yeah. Mm. Very, very sad but news. But it's sad. No, he didn't want to leave B- Barca. It was sad seeing the press conference and seeing him tear up like that. If you tear were up, leaving, he was balling. If yeah. you were leaving. Carlton. Oh, hard, like Carlton. Mm. You're playing for Carlton. And with two, three years to go on your career, you had to leave because financial reasons. Oh. Out of your control. It'd be horrible. Yeah. Like you. Boyhood club. Yeah. His whole life he's been there. Especially when he went through what he did the previous summer. Yeah. And he's like angling to leave. And then obviously, like, stayed. And then this year he goes, I'm going to stay. Yeah. Cut my salary in half. And then. But why could they still go. not get it done? Because it's not under the wages. Is they they bought four players. They need to pay for those. If he really wants to stay, can't he say, "Look, just give me ten million a year." They, he tried to do that, but you can't pay him a dollar. Not he a ju- single cent. You can't. You can't do it like that. They tried to do that. Well, no. I, well, I think why would he accept ten mil though? Why not? He's got. He's made a billion dollars. He's going to make fifty five at PSG, and that's probably less than what he was probably going to get at Barcelona. But it's just even. He'll make a billion. He'll be a billionaire. He already is, probably. Yeah. I'd say he would be in euros. He would have mm. been, he would have earned close to a billion in earnings. Yeah, his last contract was six hundred or something. And then he's got his added ass stuff and whatever else and whatever he's gonna do in France. He's gonna yeah. be on every single billboard and everything in Paris now. Fuck. PSG have the sweetest kits. They do. The kids. Jordan. Like and the Jordan, the way top, the track suits, everything. And now you're adding Messi to that. Done. They're gonna fucking sell he's out. He's taking number everything. thirty. Thirty? Yeah. He's um, what? he said no to Neymar's ten, no, number ten, and he wants thirty. Remember when he first started for Barca, he was number thirty. I thought he was nineteen. No, nah, thirty. Fuck thirty. That must have been a way. Do you remember when you went for Barca? Yeah, I love Messi. <laughs> I still I love, like some people. LeBron before people, Chelsea. I, I love. <laughs> there was like <laughs> one game that one year. That was the year he scored ninety one goals. Ninety one is a fucking year. That was yeah. that year where I was just every week. It was just amazing to watch. Yeah. That was just such a rush. <laughs> mm. I was a big. Fan of their club as an institution, but I think it's corporate now, so I don't really mm. like it. But you can't not love Messi. No, it doesn't matter if you rate Ronaldo over him or anything like that. He's just he's someone that we won't see the like of ever again. You never know. No, you see different players and what they could do, but he was far and above anyone mm. in what we've seen in our lifetime. Because we weren't around for Maradona. No. Even those people would think this is never going to happen again. But here came Messi. That's it. Chop. Yes, mate. It's been happening so, in the real world. The real world. So Joe <laughs> Rogan. Oh, I listened to Joe Rogan. Is he going to talk about the Korean? Yes. Did an interview North with Korean. North Korea defector. I can't pronounce her name, but it would be funny if I do. Yeah. Oh, that's not bad. Yo Min Park. Nailed it. Yes. The Korean names aren't hard to say, I reckon. Uh, the park was all right. It's a yummy. 80% of park. 80% like of park. park. Yeah. You just, as they spelt. Yep. Mm. That was some of the most mind blowing shit I've if ever you, heard. If you in haven't heard of it, it came out last week. It is episode one. Uh, no. No, obviously, Joe Rogan is a rival of ours and we should be plugging him. Yeah, absolutely. Know. So we don't want to plug him too much. But no, we've got to support fellow podcasters. He <laughs> needs the support. It's episode <laughs> 1691. Everyone wants to go listen to it. And you can it. actually watch it. On so she, she mm. escaped North Korea at 13. Yep. I think it was about 20 years. It was counting on about 20 years ago or something like that. It's been mm-hmm. a while since she's... She's escaped. been living in Texas? She's in Austin? Yeah. How did... Are you going to get to how she escaped or... But I don't, I don't know I want to give it all away if people want to listen nah, to it. No, it's... No, nah, but you can talk about the gist of it. Like, it's three hours. You're it's not going right. to be able to cover everything. You've got to watch it to get context. It's more... Her going in depth of what it's like in North Korea that blew my mind. Like yeah. I always knew it was bad and stuff, but I always thought it was just like really strict China sort of yeah. thing. Do you know what I mean? And I thought everyone, you know, was civilized and stuff like that. There's no electricity. No. They just there's no food. They the, separate people by classes. Fifty classes. It is exactly when you she can't marry up. You can't go upper class. I yeah. can't go up. Ever. And no. your family is in that class. The thing that blew my mind the most is that if you commit a sin, three to eight generations of your family are purged, are yeah. murked, wiped it's, it's out. Modern one, de- one official tried escaping 
35,000 people died because he got caught. Your family members. Like 80% of them had never met him. There were cousins <laughs> that married in. They just didn't even Fucking know him, but he just wipes out your whole bloodline. It's, it's what they're calling modern day genocide. It's Yet no one does anything about it. Well, everyone's scared they got new. Do you think they could possibly have, like, if she's bad as I said, where's well, their education and stuff well, like that? That's, to that's make nukes? When, they was, when she was describing that, I was like, so how smart are these people if they don't have running water or electricity? But it's obviously, well, obviously they're the just classes, suppressed. Yeah, oppressed. But it's oppressed. A, the classes, like obviously the top well, five like, classes. She didn't know she was Asian. Yeah, she didn't know the rest like, of the world. She didn't existed. know that there was a different. Yeah, never seen a world map. No. Nah. Yeah. Didn't know what sex was when she was describing so you, when the women would get rape on a daily yeah. basis. She didn't know what that was. She just thought that was every duck like, an occurrence until she came to America and explained what rape was. See, there's no word for love. There's no word for compassion. Yeah. There's no, no word there's, for I. There's no I. It's yeah. always it's always we. Yeah, and like we are Korean. You so they have to eat bugs. Grasshopper. Crickets are yeah. the highest yeah. amount of protein that they can get. The government owns everything, every animal, every bit of property. Do you see how he, she's saying they killed? He killed all the dogs because he thought they had like too, uh, too western, too wet. Yeah, the idea of having and a pet use it for meat is too western. Eating dog meat, and then what? Thirteen her and her mom, and like obviously there's way more shit that they go through. Then they had to cross the Mongolian desert, like frozen lake or frozen desert or escape. something. Yeah, and took set, um took like forty hours, but it was like minus forty degrees. They had no gloves, nothing. There was like seven of them with a baby. They had to keep moving the baby around, keeping the baby alive because if it fell asleep, Fucking its hell. blood would stop pumping. It's so cold. Yeah. Managed to get across. Then was a sex slave in China for a little bit before she managed to get to South Korea, where she was sold, and uh, and then from South Korea just by luck, like, the guy around her money couldn't pay for it, and then just bailed. And insane story. Fuck me! And, and like, when did she get? Because so I'm not, I'm not so all the way through. So eye-opening, man. The good part, like towards the end, like the first part's shocking when she talks about North Korea and then the escape and all that. But then she starts talking about her views on life and the things that shocked her when she came to America. Like she couldn't understand obesity being a problem. Yes, she's just like stop eating. Like she's used to. She doesn't. She was never full. She never experienced being full in her life. So she couldn't understand that like people just overindulge so much. Because she's had nothing. Do you know what I mean? She's like, she's never felt full. She doesn't understand why you can't just stop eating. And then like people getting triggered by like the wrong pronouns and stuff. And she's like, what do you mean? Like, <laughs> Yeah, that was funny when she was talking like, about that. She just, some of the shit blew her fucking mind. But what you was can see she's westernized herself nicely. She'll be the work done, got some fake cans. Like. Yeah. What was your sort of most shocking part for you listening to it? I think when, how many people get wiped out if you commit a crime. Like yeah. your whole family gets... And then your your whole family, like the next generations, are always just known as being thieves or whatever. You're just forever. It's crazy, yeah. M- mine was uh, when she was describing the boy on the riverbank and oh, they'd man. go down to wash water and he was so malnourished, his intestines were just popping out of his back and stuff like that because there's no fat on him. And he was just like trying to clean himself and that. And it came a common occurrence. He's like, there's people dead at the train like station. Every day you saw a dead body. Yeah. The rats would eat people's eyes because the like, eyes are soft. Yeah. And then the kids would try and chase the rats to eat the rats. Fuck. Fucking insane. What about you, Brucey? Imagine, imagine getting out of it for the first That's time. What I mean. I was thinking about when it'd I was driving so, today. It'd be so but shocking. If you, if you got to the point where you. See the thing is, you, you when you tell the story of how she escaped, she didn't exactly escape to a fucking paradise. No, no way. No, still a few more years of like. Right, it still took time for her. Yeah, and then even when she gets to South Korea, let's call yeah. that westernized. That was kind of the nicest part of right? it. Right, still raped and stuff, but that was it. But even when she gets there, it's still like you, you don't know really what's going on. Like you don't know that you're in mm. civilization. It, you, I can imagine seeing a like. I don't mean maybe she saw cars. I don't know, but like, it, imagine when she first got to America and just seeing like skyscrapers and food everywhere and running water, like uh, TV. Like they had one channel. They have one channel if you have a TV in North Korea, and it's just mm. a government mm. covering the same oh, thing over. The other and over. thing that shocked me was when this. I didn't. I didn't really know this about North Korea, but they, their main export is actually meth. Yeah, and meth and weapons yeah. and hackers. Yeah, that's just, just saying. Hackers. That's how Kim Jong Un makes it money for the country. And then China, trade in China, guns. China like funds it all. Just if you yeah, want to stop, why they if you want to stop North Korea, because yeah, China stop. doesn't want them, doesn't want them to touch them. Yeah, 
But he like turns away what, aid, what, turns away help. Yeah, how crazy is that? When they came in North South Korea, were offering vaccines for coronavirus. He's like, nah, no. Nah. And then like even just blankets and shit. Like after there was mad floods and stuff like that, he just turns it down. They're not going to step in and consider it a crisis until ninety percent of the population are wiped out. Yeah, then they'll consider it. Yeah, we've got to. What is that? Fat. Is that them saying? No, it's, <coughs> that's, that's what, what North, that's Korea North Korea says. reckons. That's what they have said. He goes, we'll consider it a crisis and saying we have to act on when 90% are dead. So then it's just it's just a little issue. Can you, imagine, can you imagine how rich the rich are there, like how they live? Well, see, he, I don't know if they're that rich. That's what I don't get. Like, because they can't be – see, rich here is like we buy fancy cars, we buy nice houses, watches, all that mm. stuff. Mm. I don't think they're doing that over there. No, I think it's a different kind of. I like, think it's just more that they eat well. Well, he, he's they're definitely above. got yeah. He's definitely got running water and shit. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Like that's his idea. Of, oh, yeah, I, I'm with you. Like it's not about showy sort of wealth where you like. So I assume you're, he's got a big you're house in the elite category. Yeah, but so yeah. you get the 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 steak. Mm. You get to eat the steak. You get yeah. to drink proper water because I can't imagine there's a Ferrari there or, no. do you, do you, you reckon know. he's got nice shit he must have what, like what no one's sending a Ferrari uh, they're not Korea. Westerners I don't think he that's has that's what I don't think but he loves American culture he does he loves love it. he's friends with Dennis Rodman that's what's bizarre like when I heard so all that stuff how's he watched all that that, no, so that's what it must be it must be him. he's got his own well, obviously, shit obviously I don't know how big it is on a map you know North how you Korea. see those, I'm looking at it right those, now it's those funny sort of like What's the population? Oh, we wouldn't know. Where they go, oh, North Korea, this is the news bulletin from North Korea. And, you know, when they play in the World Cup, they yeah. beat Brazil 7 0. And Kim Jong that. scores yeah. three. He scored 1,000 runs against Kim Jong Un congratulates the, the North Korean team for make, for winning the World Cup. Like, all that stuff, yeah. right? It's estimated. And that's probably actually true. Like, they actually, I don't know if they watch TV, but that's probably no, the exactly. propaganda that's they put he, out. They think that he can read your mind. Mm. <laughs> yeah, she's saying like they're all like born into it. You don't know any different. Yeah, like that's what she's, she's made a good point. She goes, if people who think they're oppressed, if you think you're oppressed, you're not oppressed. Yeah, you don't know you're oppressed if you're oppressed. Like yeah. they have no idea anything else exists. You just think that's life, <laughs> and she, he, that's why he does it because he keeps them hungry, keeps them. Yeah, so all they they're worried about. about is their next they're not going to revolt. They're not going to try. They just want to get fed. overturn the government. Yeah. They're just looking for a grasshopper to eat. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, they're too hungry to like. Think about when you're hungry; you don't want to do anything else. Nothing besides manage. Like you just want to eat. Yeah, yeah. It's twenty, nearly twenty six million. See, I mean, like, so obviously it's a big country. Dennis Rodman's not going to see all that. Sort it's of not. Stuff. It's not massive. And, yeah, but like, he's not going to see that part of. It. Obviously, he flies in whatever. And he goes straight to the. Oh, I just. No, I've yeah. seen. Have you ever seen that Vice documentary from years ago? I can't remember how they did it, but they got permission to go into North Korea and he like secretly films it. Yeah. And as he's driving through, there's like fake... Well, I mean, I'm looking at a picture now and it it, it, it does look like... I mean, that's a city. Yeah, yeah. No, it would be, of course, like Pyongyang, whatever it's Pyongyang. called. Pyongyang. Mm. That would, obviously, there's going to be... That's Pyongyang. Yeah, yeah doctors like, and there's still going to be... Like, that's a proper city. But once you're below, say, the 10th class or whatever like that, yeah. you're in... You're it's like the Hunger Games. Games. She's like... Yeah, she watched the, like she read the book, The so Hunger she Games. Explains it. Yeah. And she's like, that is like if us and a Yeah. She thought that the author that's was North Korean. Separate. That's what she said. She goes, I thought maybe he was <laughs> North Korean, the person who wrote it, because it's so spot on. That's crazy. But this documentary, this guy's driving through, and there's like a fake grocery store with like cardboard cutouts of people and like fake groceries on the shelf. And then he goes into this hotel, and there's this massive banquet hall and everything like that, and he's the only person there. And there's like 25 girls working there serving food and stuff like that. And just over the top making it like it's a normal country, I guess. <laughs> and then it's I just. got it completely wrong. Yeah, he just yeah. over the top from like movies and stuff like that. <laughs> Bizarre place. They're man. still watching but like I just, Eddie Murphy yeah. stand up comedy. How, yeah, yeah. How did it become like that? When Kim Jong Sun, yeah, one the of the grandfather. Uh, so their history starts. The they're, they're, they think history starts With when him. he was born. Yeah. There are people who are alive that knew Korea before him, but they they, they're not allowed. They, they phased it out. They're just if you know if your house is burning down, and you don't rescue the photo of Kim Jong Un from your house, they execute you anyway. <laughs> I'm mean, so, sorry. And if they come in fine. and they like wipe their fingerprint, a finger across the photo, and if there's dust on it, you get executed. Fucking hell! It's fucked. It's just a just weird, die. narcissistic, like, how do you want that much power? Like, what, what? I don't get it. Well, fucking mental. Imagine, the like, the Kim Jong-sung, the one that started it. Mm. Imagine 
his thinking was because he was Marxist. I think he initially wanted to take it from a democratic country to a communist state. Oh, something about yeah, the Soviets right. when it, but the Soviet when collapsing that's is what when, fucked them yeah, right, big time. Well, that's well, that, yeah. Before she the Korean it. War was, I think, just after the Second World War ended, right? So this was, you know, the Soviets were up and running, like were powerful. The Chinese were were power, like were starting to be the People's Republic, all that stuff, and then they they took on, and they just had a population of people who were so willing to take it because he sold it as you're gonna. You're going to give us your land that you own, mm. and you're going to give us, and you don't have to pay for anything. You don't have to pay for education, for health, or anything like that. We're going to take care of you. When in actual fact, he's taking anything to control and to make it so they would be essentially right. slaves to the government. Crazy. And then, obviously, when you know, I think when you said the Soviets collapsed mm. and China was sort of outnumbered, they stopped sort of helping them and helping them. Yeah. I think that's when they probably enclosed even more. It's just a bizarre. Because it's actually connected to China. Yeah, that's yeah. how they knew where China was because they didn't have a company. When they said to escape, they said to follow the yeah, lights. If you want to have a look. Oh, really? No electricity whatsoever. They could see this, like the lights. So they were the, close to the south of China border. Yeah, you can see it here. So North Korea, they're up. she was up near the top. And then went through Mongolia. And then went through something. Mongolia, imagine, which imagine is Imagine if you're here. in the middle or at the bottom. I'm assuming the middle is Pyongyang. So it's yeah, Pyongyang's right on the water. In the middle, pretty much, yeah. So the south, yeah, well, the south is the south is where you fuck. They reckon you can't even get across like anymore. Like people used to sneak across. Yeah, now that's now, now it's, it's impossible to escape the way she did. Well, it's all landmines and stuff like that. Fuck. That's fucked. But you, like, oh. just drop a nuke on it. But then obviously, there's nah, 20 there's million too many innocent. people there that are, aren't responsible. I know. No, no. You just got to kill him and kill his underlings. Here, here's the and thing, right? You're so close to Japan. Like Japan is literally right at the bottom of South Korea here. And then you got obviously China, mainland here, Mongolia is just up here. I think the only way Fuck. that that would be fixed, and fixed is, it's, it's not really fixing it, is that if, what's his name now? Kim Jong-un? Oh, no, he's... Il. Yeah, Un. right. So One. if he says, I'm going to launch some nuclear weapons, then obviously the world has to then go after him. Yeah. Hasn't he, hasn't he, like, said that? So you then you'd have to march it. through. But then you have to sacrifice your own people to liberate, sa- liberate save this country. Mm. So you can't – could you in good conscience go, yeah. do we risk our lives of our population? 100% why no one's doing anything. Like, yeah, but it, also he, the people there not revolting. Is it because – well, it is because they literally wouldn't know any different either. They can't revolt because they don't know. They, they're only fed – they don't think he's bad. They think he no. can read their mind. They think that they he's – They think that this is – that's, that's yeah. the norm. That's they the know, world. They think and it'd be hard to – even if we did – say we, you know, we, but say the West World, whatever, took him out and stuff, but then all the other people would be like, well, what do you mean? Like, you got 26 yeah. million people who yeah. don't know how to function. Yeah, who don't understand. And don't. what we do just all of a sudden open the gates and go, here – or just yeah. like give them internet and go here, yeah. do some research. I can't remember this movie or something like that that talks about like you're, you're thinking you're liberating these people and then they're like, well, we liked it the way it was. Yeah, well, obviously there'd be a, the higher classes because they didn't understand. You're right, they just don't understand. You what don't the know any difference. Is. It's not like the Middle East or anything like that that maybe have a little bit of access yeah, to yeah, yeah, yeah. the Western world, or even Africa. Yeah, you can't say that they like they've actually. Able to stop everything to come in. Yeah, I mean, trying to do it to an extent, but they obviously allow everything because they want to be powerful. Yeah, yeah. But like, they still control what comes through. Like, they can't Google. Oh, absolutely, can't Google do anything. I've got a mate in China that Facebook who, doesn't exist either. They got their own phone. Their own one. He found his own. He managed to like crack it so that way he can message me through Messenger from China <laughs> somehow. But like, yeah, it's you can't just. Do you know if he gets caught doing that, he goes to jail. Yeah, it's some. It's fucking no joke. Yeah. No. Scary man. I do. Would you go to North Korea? <sighs> yeah, you would go. If like, if you're going, like you're thinking, is if I'm going as Dennis Rodman. That's what I'm thinking. As a guest of the president. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that as yeah. a leader. Yeah. That'd be one of my top five. Say if I could say me and Dennis Rodman became friends. Not as the guy like, that like thought I'd go there just to see what's going on, but they then see you and go, "What the fuck are you doing here?" Oh yeah. No, how are you going to get there? You can't just fly there. You can you? Can you could when you can fly from COVID. China to there. But you have to there get was, like was, very. I'm saying your visa. There was to university. Yeah. I, I, I think there was a university student from Perth. 
But you have to have right, Visa yeah. Australia who went there because he wouldn't. I don't know. He wanted to be a hero or something. Like in terms of not saving the country, but just like I'm going to go to North Korea. So I say I went to North Korea, and then got trapped. And I think it took a, a long time for him to get out. Yes, like it took negotiation <sighs> from the Australian like embassy and everything in China and like. To get in, so out. We don't think there's you don't think there's any Westerners or anything over there. No, there's there. definitely in there, definitely there. I don't think they're there now, but they were there. They're there regularly. Mm. You go there as a sports team. Australia played there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like obviously Pyongyang, whatever. But like, have Australia played in North Korea? Pretty sure. It's because North Korea's in the Asian World Cup. Yeah, but I don't wise. think they played on North Korean land. I'm pretty sure they have. I'm pretty sure <laughs> they have. I mean, imagine South Korea versus North Korea. Fuck. Because there's like they can see each other like at the border, the military. The crazy thing is, if you, I'm looking at the map right now, they're in the same landmass. South Korea is yeah. like a normal but Western that country. Mit- military, uh, D- you'd, you'd have to have a certain group of people who know about the Western world. There in North yeah. Korea, they have to be. because you have Massive. to. Yeah, no, but you have to have cert- like you can't just have like ten people. It has to be hundreds of thousands because yeah, like yeah. when they play soccer, they know their team. Shit, they've got pl- play people in the stadium watching them. Yeah, and they get pumped. No, that's so the they thing. know they're crap. Let's so just say so obviously they're like, you are in the inner circle, you're in the elite. Yeah, bracket. Well, if you get caught, that's the thing. They're so scared that if you get caught telling people things or whatever, that they can read your mind. Yeah, you're yeah. Get executed well, they would they consider that anyway. if you said, "Oh, well, we got beaten five 0 by South Korea." Yeah, you're and they got me. caught, you'd, you'd be like, "Yeah, for executed fuck. almost, like or put down into the lower class, whatever it is." How about when she said? Um, they used to execute people if they weren't crying enough and yeah. showed enough emotion for the leader. Like they, people were like physically crying and making yeah. themselves sick. <sighs> um, well, uh, if you like, they say she, she said she went into the is it the, the the jungle or something like that to find food. What yeah, they the call mountains. mountains? She was right? up in the mountains to get grasshoppers. Go to find plants to go find whatever. And she says if you found a snake, that was like yeah. amazing. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> You dreamed about that. <laughs> She's saying that people in North Korea, there's something about it, like any people that have ever gone out of there, whatever, all say it, that whenever you dream, she said you can't stop dreaming in, you're in North Korea. Like it's just something about it, it just fucking traps you. And it gets in your head. <laughs> no, she goes, I would. You'd be, you'd be, you'd night, be traumatized. Just, all she does is just, she, whenever she dreams, she dreams. She never dreams that she's in LA or all these places that she's been to. She dreams about no, being in North Korea. How she has like, in all honesty, not having sent someone to kill her. That's what I don't get. I'll get because, uh, like, what is she saying? She's divulging probably shit that no one's expecting. Like, Joe Rogan has one of the biggest followings. Well, she was a UN, UN ambassador for a while, and then she doesn't like. She worked out the way UN work, and she doesn't agree with it stuff. So she moved I don't away think from she that. A fuck. But because any would, day is a bonus. Would a hundred percent, a hundred percent. She didn't feel compassion until she had her kid. She's had a kid. Yeah, so she was worried because seeing stuff like that kid with his intestines hanging out of his body mm. it didn't affect her. Yeah, she had, didn't have any emotion, and she worried that that she'd never be able to love because she's just so. <laughs> That's tough. so true. So said, honest, as soon as she had a kid, she finally understood unconditional love. Yeah, yeah. She never, she never been told I love you because that's not a phrase in North Korea. Her <laughs> mum never said that to her. That's so just, fucking nuts, man. Fuck, they wouldn't even smile. No. <laughs> well, they wouldn't. Yeah, there's like two haircuts to choose from. Yeah. The fashion so the girls is no denim like, jeans, like the bob, and then the, and the boys. Guys are the like the but you got to think in those lower economic classes, they wouldn't have; they just have rags and shit. I guess, yeah. They exactly. have fucking no clothes. She got given a planner as a gift, like a diary sort of thing, and it got confiscated off her because in North Korea, your day is planned for you. Yeah, like they tell you what to do. <laughs> Fuck, that's nice. We are so lucky here, and people reckon <laughs> that fucking Mark McGowan's bad because he puts it's a couple lockdown. of lockdowns. Yeah, and meanwhile, we've never had a big outbreak here. Everyone listen to that podcast gets and really gets perspective. perspective on shit. All right. Speaking S- of perspective. Yes. <laughs> Segways. Segways. I like it. I like it. So, I've always wanted to ask you both this. Do you guys believe in UFOs? UFOs, yes. Do you believe we're not alone out there? I've not been able to identify a flying object ever. Yeah, there were. Yeah, it's a exactly. plane. <laughs> what plane? I've thrown a lot of I and I do <laughs> yeah, yeah. objects off your balcony, <laughs> off my balcony. But no, so JJ Abrams, big fan of, done all Star Wars. He's basically Steven Spielberg's Star Wars. I thought that was George Lucas. Well, he did new ones. Right, right. I didn't know that. 
<laughs> Didn't Honestly, you? Didn't so that. you did the new trilogy. No, exactly. <laughs> but um, he's done a four-part doco series, which is actually available on YouTube. Documentary, right? Yeah. I thought he was so, doing like a mini series. So, well, four parts, but first no, one no, came like out. A, 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 like a TV show. No, like yeah. It's, so it's free on YouTube. It's all about UFOs and about the CIA releasing some unseen footage and more stuff like that. The more I've watched this, I've just gone, gee, we're probably not. I think I think it's very naive to think we're the yeah. only things out there. Yeah, because it's ever n- never ending. It it is. So you can't imagine. I'm assuming. I'm not I assume into, there is, but I'm not into yeah. like there's an alternate universe where there's another me and no, 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 know, like that sort of stuff. I mean, that'd be cool, but there, there has to be. There has to be. It's it's crazy to think that we think we're the only species that has technology where we can fly a plane and stuff like that. And yet, no other species out there, which guarantee there is, because if you, even if you watch that hut, was it hut, the Huddle Telescope or Hubble Hubble tab- Telescope one, and the last part in that is when they go the galaxies. We are one galaxy, so that's our solar system's a galaxy. Mm. In they show the basically what they think the star thing is like 160 million yeah. other galaxies. Like, so it's like just like a, what the fuck? We're like a grain of sand, small speck. Yeah, less, less. There's Probably there's got to be, has to be something out there. We can't be the ultimate species. The amount of dumb people and dumb shit that we do as a society and everything <laughs> like that. This can't be it, man. We can't be the highest form of in the whole no. galaxy. Do you think in our lifetime something I comes? I know so. oh, I'm getting a bit getting a bit out there. No, I hope something so. comes and fucking <laughs> lands I, on this earth. I've never been like there's definitely anything out there. There's definitely not, but I think I think there is. You know what I mean? Like there's got to there's got to be, but. I'd be so excited if we like. <laughs> I'd be so excited. Do you think? Do you It'd think be the biggest thing ever? Do you think it? they come fuck us up? Nah. Or do you think they come in peace? Oh, maybe they look at the way we do shit and they just select a few people to keep. <laughs> Don't you think they'd hide it from us? <laughs> yeah. Well, they reckon that isn't the government releasing it all. So they've they released footage, like especially these ones where the fighter pilots. Yeah, yeah. And they see this object, it's night, and this one object's just going boom, boom, yeah. boom, boom. And it's like, I, this, that can't actually explain what the fuck it is. Yeah. That sort of shit where I'm like, fuck. Well, these guys have no reason to make that up. Yeah. I mean, and now, some so of them that like fucked up from it forever. Because <laughs> you get called crazy. Yeah. So the CIA started releasing more and more of this stuff of un- unidentified things. And you're sort of going, well, shit. Like, these can't all be explained as in that's a weather balloon, that's something over here, that's a bit of yeah. fucking gas exploding or something like that. And if they're getting here, then obviously they've got some sort of insane technology. Yeah, well, there you go. And then does that help us or does that hinder us? When you think of it, what movie do you like? Say that's the that's, closest. That's my what I imagine. Oh, it's a fantastic question. Me Independence Day. <laughs> Do you reckon it'll be like Doomsday? No, that's not what I imagine will happen. I just imagine that's what what they like. look like. Like they that's how they got it. They've got better spaceships, whatever it is. They're definitely not like aliens. They're exomorphs. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't think they're like that because they they don't have spaceships and stuff to get there. They're just fucking real bad animals. At the end of the day, what what do you reckon they look like? Do you reckon they're green and big eyes? And all no, like I reckon they're more along the lines of looking like reptiles. But then again, fuck. It, it, like, there could be literally anything. There yeah. could be balls of whatever. Their arms could be legs. They're yeah. I hope this, they don't come fuck us up because that would be <laughs> upsetting. <laughs> <laughs> but the bad thing is if they did come, then you discover this technology. Then What would we do with it? Well, the Americans most probably would try and overtake them and then weaponize them and win a war or something like that. I think, I don't know. It's Where do you reckon they land? Like, oh. I reckon it's somewhere in like the desert. Mm. Why would they land in the desert though? They don't do choose to. Coming in, they're crashing. Yeah, but I reckon they've been watching us. <laughs> Shit like crop circles, that stuff's trippy. Yeah. <laughs> Big crop circles. It's quite interesting, and isn't it? Sometimes they're like, I don't believe it. the movie Signs. It's yeah, science. It's, it's always in Mel like, Gibson, very good movie. It's always in America, these things that happen. It's always in Montana and all these. But I guess that's the media we get. So it probably happens in Siberia yeah. and shit. We just don't hear about don't, it. Don't see it. Yeah. But it's very interesting. It's out on YouTube at the moment. First episode came out on the 8th. Watch it. 
definitely opened up my eyes a little bit and keen for the other episodes to see where this actually goes. What's but JJ Abrams What's very good. Again? YouTube. It's called UFOs. Are they? Are you ready? I thought it was on HBO Max. It probably is as well, but it's on YouTube at the moment too. Available for free. If they said, come with us. Yes. Paradise Life. Would you go? Uh, fuck, if you're going to get abducted, what choice do you have? Or if they're more inviting or they just take Inviting you? and they're just like, come with us. We've got two options. You can stay here the way Earth is and stuff. Or you come to this but picturesque they said you have to leave Hannah here. Oh, then I wouldn't go. Mm. But there's no sport. <laughs> They've got their own sport. It's different. You could be a superstar at that sport. You never know. You never know. It'd be like a hybrid of sumo and smoking weed. I mean, they're obviously not speaking English or our language. I, don't, I reckon they'd just be able to just communicate with you. Telepathically. So, yeah. That's how they've always fought aliens and shit would be able to communicate I agree with, with that. us telepathically. I agree with that. And you wouldn't hear their language. We wouldn't hear English or anything like that. You just get the message. <laughs> ah, you want me to come with you? Yeah, just something like that. Mm, okay. Well, with the all these billionaires going to space, you never know. Exactly. They might come and be like, oh, rich boys, you've got Earth, let us take Imagine this. Imagine one thing. of them goes up and just gets blown out of the fucking... Yeah, <laughs> just, just Stay Bezos. down there, asshole. Yeah. <laughs> Stay on Earth, Musk. So the other big thing I've been watching, boys, while well, I just finished it, was this Dr. Death. Mm, I Real story happened... Well, um, the name of the doctor is Christopher Dunch. Yeah. Christopher Dunch, played by Joshua Jackson. Not too bad. I didn't like the TV show. Why? Did you watch all of it? No, I couldn't get through it. Why? Really? I didn't like jumping back and. Uh, okay. I just, it, it just. I found that interesting. No, nah, I could Then I watched the the real documentary on it. That's on Stan as well. Mm. I watched that. Yes. That was good. I enjoyed that. I like the story and everything. I just couldn't. It just, you mean the show just doesn't? It was. I was struggling to watch it. I was really trying to watch You're it. You're probably stoned. I'm always stoned. It's crazy it. how you can think that someone can actually it's go scary. around doing that to you. Imagine you going in. You're going in for a knee op next yeah. month, September eighth. What if he just severs your artery? Just, just and you bleed out. So, yeah. Well, like you lose all feeling in your leg. Can never use it again. Beautiful. I can't use a fucking thing anyway. It's <laughs> Give crazy. me one of those prosthetic things. The worst thing... Paralympics, was, there you go. Yeah, the worst thing was the hospitals covering it up to save their asses what? from getting sued and the rest of the shit. What blows my mind is once you do one bad surgery... How the fuck can you do it again? Like, I'm sorry. All right, well, obviously you're not ready, buddy. Let's go back a few steps. He just thought he was so good. Yeah. Well, because well, you can make mistakes. Yeah, but it's like, you know... The way he was making it's like it with though. doctors, you you think that they know everything, mm. when in actual fact, I yeah. mean that's part of an issue with being a doctor is like they think they know everything yeah. about mm. everything. So like yeah. even Ricker, I ask him every question. No, but like it's not even related to medical. Is that they're, they're so intelligent that they consider themselves experts in a lot of things that they're not. Yeah, right? no, Rick is a moron. Yeah, well, he's probably <laughs> one of the few doctors that knows his uh. limitations. <laughs> yeah. But he probably privately is very yeah, like not, up not, himself. Person. Not jumping In over Sydney's balconies. probably turn yeah. into that. There's but a tosser. What I would say is that they would probably think, all right, it's a mistake. You, the next one you'll know better. You learn from it, all that. Supervised fucking. If I fuck up at one rim at work in the blaster, my, my Zil Marco shows me again. But I'm like, if your boss goes, ego. And goes and blasts a rim and makes a mistake, would you then stop him from blasting any more rims or would you just let him what because it's his it's it's his domain it's his it's his business yeah i guess but because he's the doctor in there there's no other one yeah, but there's other that, doctors but they're not i know i use that rim doing. analogy as well but as well we're talking about human lives as well like i understand and it's just the mistakes he made he made them intentionally i don't i don't yeah. i think the hospitals are fucked they should they're as bad as him yeah they should and they ha- none of them get sued they should have if one of one of the hospitals just speaks up and says we don't think this guy's capable, yes, they open themselves up up to yeah lawsuits and everything, but at least it saves lives. Right, but they didn't. So yeah, they covered. Right. So they admit, yeah. Admit so they reckon they reckon this is like a common occurrence every year. <sighs> People just leave, die when you left like the sponge in them. Left a the sponge. Oh, and she got infected. Sponge, sponge got sept- went septic. septic well, yeah. But you hear you. He thought it was cancer, and he's just like, no, it's cancer. Stop. Uh, how about when he was ripping out the disc 
and he just kept fucking it up and he couldn't get it out. Oh, that was making when me ill. When you're watching the show, because it's like grinding mm. into the spine and it's like, I can't, that doesn't sound right. I and then the people in, obviously it's dramatic, it's a TV show, mm. but they're showing, like they're all like going, what the fuck's happening yeah. here? Like he's, he's fucking it up. Like what's he doing? He's oh, drilling in the wrong there's spot. Blo- there's blood loss. There's That's blood what, loss. Like, you know, even when there was like stop, stop the screw, you're hitting the nerve, you're hitting the nerve, whatever, you're putting it in the wrong spot. There was one like, step. I don't understand why, but they, it, how this gets oh, done. Honestly, because like, if they do that, if they're like nurses and that, if they try to jump in on the surgeon, they could lose their fucking jobs because you're not meant to do uh, it. I bet, but it's so better he's, than that he's, person. He's an egomaniac, you. right? Yeah. Mm. I'm assuming there's a few of them. But if it's. Being a doctor is probably one industry where if I felt like I wasn't ready, I wouldn't want to do it. Yeah, but like you I, think I, rationally, yeah, bro. I would think, yeah. like, you, I need as, more practice. You as you. <laughs> right? No, no. But that's, like, but if I was studying, if ego. I knew that what I was doing, it meant the difference between life or death, I wanted would I would yeah. want to be absolutely certain that I, what I was doing was, like, fine. Like, I, I'm good at it. That's what he said. But when you've got the ego like that, you just want to be well, able to say, That's why they train I'm, so I'm long. It's just like, crazy how he kept blaming everyone else. That's what they say. What do, you call the, what do you call the person who finishes lowest in their graduating medical class? Doctor. Dunce. Doctor. Oh, doctor. Either way, you're still going to be the yeah. doctor, do you know what I mean? That Bottom of the sick. class. Crazy, crazy. Oh. But you can watch that now. It's out on stand. Check it out. Good show to watch. It makes me nervous because I'm going in in a few weeks. Yeah. And it made me think because my last one didn't get any better. Obviously, it was unrelated, but maybe he's just like that. Maybe he just enjoys maybe fucking. Just doesn't, is it the same doctor? Yeah. But it, he showed me the scans and stuff. It's just. Just too, unlucky? Because yeah, you know how to read scans? Yes, Adam. I've had enough of them by now. And yeah. I even asked my doctor, my GP, I was like, is this guy fucking all right or what? He, <laughs> he's like, he's an associate professor. And I was like, okay. <laughs> yeah, but that's the thing is that, yeah, uh, now we're questioning them all, but. Yeah, I don't know. I don't want to because I'm sure I got a few more surgeries. Under Look, my belt. At the end of the day, I take the approach: if a doctor says do do something, you should do it. Yeah, because I think more times, a lot more times than not, they're going to be right. A lot of people do like the second opinion. I Definitely, suppose, I, I think, think it's get smart. A second opinion: if you're going serious through something serious, or. someone if the doctor telling you to take these antibi- antibiotics, take them. Yeah, yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, right. If the doctor says, "I recommend you have." Life changing yeah. surgery, maybe get a second opinion to make yeah. yourself feel better. I hundred percent agree with that one. All right, do we want to jump into fan questions or sports, gents? What are we feeling? Well, the other fan question was another Olympic question, wasn't it? Oh, it was an Olympic question. If you had, if I said I'll give you a million dollars in, but in you got four years to the next Olympics and you have to medal in an event. What event do you think you have the best so chance I have of meddling? Four years in? to practice. From now, from today, you've got four years to the next Olympics, your best chance of meddling in something. Four years to practice it, and you get a million bucks. Shit. I'd immediately go like weightlifting because mm. I feel like I could be strong. Yeah, mm. I was thinking that. But then those guys are really strong. I get it. But like, you know, I've got, you I've got, to, have, I've got to have a chance of meddling. Yeah. Kayaking. No way. Maybe if I kayaked for four years every day, still got as big and strong as them, maybe I could get fast. Nah, I think that's. I think I think at this age as well, are we thinking yeah. like injuries? <laughs> that's what I was thinking. Like where I'm at. Just, just assume you don't get injured. Okay, try I'm gonna. Years. Personally, I'd get my eye in and just do shooting. Like, that's exactly where yeah. my head was at. I was gonna yeah, say shooting, like pistol or something. Again, like it's, it's still a skill when the talent. Yeah, no, but I feel like four years of like just shooting. Would be easier to get down packed than like, but you don't reckon? So four years, however many days that is, clearly over twelve hundred days, right? Well, it's yeah, fifteen. Let's say fifteen hundred days. You, if you every single day got in a kayak or was in the gym doing weights, practicing weightlifting, you don't think you could then be at a competitive state? No, I'm not saying that. Like you, no. win. But you think that you'll have a better chance in shooting. shooting. Yeah, for sure. Yep. That pistol one, standing still. If you're just all day aiming, boing, bang, bang, working, bang, bang. Yeah. And you can do that Canoeing as many hours a day. I don't have the it's endurance. Stressful. It'd take me six months to get fit enough to get into a canoe. <laughs> <laughs> like you have to, there'd be a weight, surely, because the heavier you are, the yeah, harder absolutely. it would be. Yeah, absolutely. Slow as it down. Imagine you got the right diet. Six months before I'm ready to hit the water. And then you got it all of a sudden. Nah. Yeah, your legs are a bit. Why? 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 Can you, is that what you feel, Brucey? I'm just 
spitballing because I don't think think it takes skill <laughs> to kayak. I think it takes strength and the endurance. one where they're just, just basically we have something to say about that, mate. No, not that, not <laughs> slalom. I'm talking about the just power straight line. Straight. They're the same yeah. thing. You know, you see those blokes; their shoulders were fucking huge. They were massive. They were just Even like, the it women was like machines, like, <laughs> yeah, like it was clockwork. They were. You can't massive. tell me that if I did that every single day, by the fourth year, I couldn't compete with them. Yeah, maybe. Okay, because it doesn't. It's not. A, it, it's yes, some of them are skill, but it's the same thing as like I think it takes more skill and talent to be a basketball than it is to be a rugby player. Yeah, yeah. that's fair enough. Yeah. What what, what uh, besides shooting? Is there anything else sort of jumped out at you? Shooting, archery. Oof. I'm not a big fan of moving. I'm not, I don't back. <laughs> I don't back myself in anything. I have do, to what, move, do you so reckon? Like, what about equestrian, Damon? No, no. I thought about that. I'm too heavy for a horse. What about what about um, the You're BMX? Four years. Nah, BMX. The no BMX. No, no, the, the, sorry. The sorry. The mountain biking. No, nah. nah. That's just riding a bike. Nah, that I think takes skill. That just in their legs. Nah, that's. It, they, these are years to get these skills. You mountain can be biking's hard, like proper mountain biking is mm. really hard. What about walking? Yeah, little, fuck that could be hit, something. Hit, if you have four, but yeah, you got a medal. Though. You got a medal though. Yeah. I mean, fuck anything. It's gonna be hard to medal in. <laughs> if Maybe you, like judo. Or, oh, fucking! Actually, no. I was gonna say long jump, but you have to just be <laughs> you mate, bloody no quick. Way. Eh? It's eleven seconds. No, no. no. Yeah, so. <laughs> We're the wrong color for long. My brother right? measured it out. I was sitting at his house, <laughs> and he was like, "You realize a long jump." Was from one end of the apartment to the kitchen, and I was looking at this. I was like, "That's how far these fuckers are jumping." It's like nine. It's ridiculous. Nah, no way. Absolutely ridiculous. Nah, maybe, maybe javelin or hammer. No. You could, you could definitely shot put. I was good shot put. Shot put definitely. Yeah, no, one at Mount Lord. Discus. Discus is weird. Discus is hard. Shot puts. Because you got to like let it out of the hand right. a certain way, don't you? <sighs> but I, yeah, unless they I the Cathlon. <laughs> See, I'm not good at endurance. That's why canoe. I got Buckley's mm. weightlifting. Eh, maybe yeah, but you're training. You realize that you're training. Yeah, you're gonna get fitter. I don't. You're gonna get really fit for that. Yeah, but like uh, shooting, pa, it would take a lot of upper body. Or you have to quit smoking, fucking anything if I want to be a shooter. You're gonna have to lose weight. Just stand why there, you just do it? I might. I've been thinking about it. <laughs> I've pretty good shot of a gun. The three times in my life I've shot one mm. on the streets. <sighs> All right, let's keep it marching on. We'll jump into sports. So, obviously, during the week or last weekend, Texi, Texi Walker oh, what said a something incredibly dumb. What a fool. In a three-quarter time huddle, called someone a B cunt, which was just oh. – not, not to mention that he used to play with the bloke as well. It doesn't matter whether you played with him. Yeah, it doesn't I'm, matter. Like, I'm just saying how dumb that is. He knows the guy and he's calling him that. We've played a lot of footy. Right, we played amateur footy where you say a lot of dumb things. You he, say he a lot of shit. playing, remember? Well, yeah, but he's, he's just saying. But, like, we've been around a lot of footy, whatever. There's, you just know you don't go to races. You don't go. You call someone a fat cunt. You call someone a faggot. You call someone a... Well, oh, well, well, can't, you know, not anymore. Uh, well, I'm still confident to say that word more than I am to say those two words together. You just never went there. You just know that's that line you just do not cross. He knows better. He's an ex-captain. He just, oh, Sloan's a captain now. Yeah, It's just a very dumb thing to do. Dumb thing to do. The 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 video he did, the apology video, I guess he because he was emotional, they had him reading off of a teleprompter or Well, I don't know. He's either, it's, it's cringe. It's, not it's so he's cringe. He's either a real moron because he sounds like a real bubble. Nobody will, in the media will tell him, like will say whether it's authentic or not or anything like that. It's hard. You had to put yourself out there and do all that. Like that, that would take a like that would be you wouldn't be easy. But it didn't come across really well. No. One, why is he not sitting next to the dude? I'm looking at the phone. Social asking, distancing, maybe could be. That's yeah, what I'm thinking. It's but it's just yeah, the guy. Okay, fair enough. The other bloke being very obviously nice about it, gave him a pat on the back before he started. Like, don't worry, mate. You know, sort of forgiving, which is great. But, geez, you've got to think, could that be the last game he plays for Adelaide? <sighs> Six games out, he's it's missing a couple. come back from that, isn't it? No one's really ever, have there ever been any big like racism things in AFL? Like, yeah, Nicky you know, Wimmer. No, no, I'm saying like a similar thing like where someone's called someone something. Yeah, Moncurst back oh, yeah. in the day. What did he do? 
Refreshing. So I know it was bad back in the day because I think Michael O'Loughlin was talking about it, how like even in the change room, Peter stuff, Everett did it. It was like as well. sly comments, but they were obviously. It's pretty common back in the eighties. Yeah, you just don't go there. You just even in the heat of the battle on the footy field. Well, now whatever. you don't. You definitely don't now. Well, well, definitely don't. Why, you did back why then. are you referring to that anyway? Like, why not just call him the, get Look, that cunt? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's like I mean the <laughs> amount of times Chops called you an f cunt, fat yeah. cunt. Yeah, you bleep out. Right. Hang on, hang yeah. on. Haven't called him a fat cunt since school. Fot <laughs> cunt. Fot cunt. Any Fot cunt. Maybe I'm saying the words the c word too it's, many times, but it's, it's like in the heat of the moment you can say things. It's that like on the gentleman. Aren't right. Yeah, Colin Farrell. One's got nothing to do with the other. <laughs> you are a black, and you are a home. <laughs> Those are just the facts. <laughs> <laughs> if you were Texas, would you just Texan? If you were put that out, you can't. <laughs> what say it <that> again <laughs> just share that quote just share that video do you reckon the second it came out of his mouth he just went oh no or do you reckon he took him a bit he like first well he didn't say it to him no 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 I know he, he said it in a three quarter time huddle he said it to his, own, said to his team. own teammates who were there like, go out there there and were get aboriginal that. guys yeah. there that's what I mean and also not that you say it anyway but like you don't know who's half aboriginal do you know what I mean? If you saw Liam Jones, you, just you wouldn't think he was able... Yeah, exactly. Colour, race, don't religion, no, off just, limits. Yeah. There's no need. Uh, and even gender's off limits now. Yeah, that's just silly. That one's still getting yeah. used to that. Mm. But very silly by Tex. An ex-captain. Speaking of Tex. Speaking of ex-captains. Texans. But you go with your segue. Deshaun Watson. Yep. Yeah. At training. But he won't play. No. Pre-season game. No. But he's participating in some drills. Yeah. $50,000 a day that you miss uh, training camp. So mini camp, they can waive those fi- um, fines. If you just rock up. If you don't rock up, mini camp. So that's why he's rocking up, is not to get fined. Yeah. I'm just here so I don't get fined. The words of the great marshal. Who who do you think would ever take a risk on him, considering that he's definitely going to go to court? I would. He's a very good quarterback. Yeah, but so if okay, let's say he's found guilty, you're, you're pretty much sunk that's your entire franchise. That's why you don't pay much for him. No, it's not paying much, but what they want, isn't it three first rounders well, for him? Yeah, but that's why you don't... You, they, they, they can't ask for three first They round can't round. ask for that now. They won't get... They'd be like, but Michael Vick recovered from dogfighting. And he, you know what I mean? Played again. Yeah, if but you can recover from dogfighting, you recover from a, f- yeah, a few rub and tucks. So... Oh, I so don't know. You know I, heard, I was listening today, so there's you know 20 civil cases or whatever, 10 criminal now, but then 18 other massage girls have come forward defending Deshaun Watson... With a few of them admitting to consensual, yeah. So that's at least like forty-eight there or something like that. <laughs> There's something like that. It was just a regular. Why would but you not just year. get prostitutes? There's fifty-two weeks in a year. Been There's forty-eight that have come forward. He's doing weekly. He's daily. I don't get it. Why not just get prostitutes? And that's what you pay them to fucking do. Because I think right. we said this before. I think it's the he thrill. wants a higher class of girl. He wants the thrill of maybe it will go, maybe it won't. Like worst you're gonna say. Okay, is well say then no. you'd be nice to him and say, look, I'm gonna have a crack. Like you have a be open about it. Don't be creepy about it. No, but you know what? I think I don't. <laughs> I'm not defending him. Maybe it wasn't as creepy. It just gets blown out where, like he said, uh, and I like, pulled it out and go, any chance? And she said no. It took offence to it, and then boom. So I can't imagine him like grabbing her hand and going, "Come on, do it!" Like it would be, yeah, that's, he'd be that's in jail sexual by now. assault. So yeah. I think it's more of he tried, he whipped it out. They said no. Ten of them got offended. The other ten went, "Yeah, we can jump on this," and then it snowballed. <laughs> 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 we can jump on this. Uh, would you jump on it? Oh, it'd be a big. Big piece, wouldn't it? Because <laughs> he's got that. That takes as fucking well. balls to be doing that to random people. Yeah, just to roll over and be like, "Why are you here?" Gee, we're on with the segways tonight, Loshi. Give us your preview. Well, NFL. Mate. We had a bit of action over the weekend. It was disgusting. It was so boring. Why fucking play those games? It's just for the Hall of Fame. Yeah, but all all that happened is people going to get injured. Yeah, I agree with that. And th- th- no one big really plays. It's Claypool always, played Yeah I know And he got injured <laughs> He's still a second year player He needs reps I guess Whatever yeah. But he didn't get Luckily he's not Mate injured, Touch wood I, did, did, I thought he he's, got injured He went down He's okay He's okay But yeah. so one of the running backs Got injured uh, Yeah one of the Steelers guys did But again These these are guys Just trying to make the squad These are Practice squad These members. are pe- special teams play, that, you know, Guys that can double As a special team I teams could play. not tell you Any of the fucking Dallas players that played No there wasn't no. D- Danucci nah. played. Danucci. Yeah. And then Pretty the, much to sort out who's going to be the backup. Yeah, and then the other one uh, starts with a C. Gil- wasn't yeah, it? Was yeah, Gil- Gil- yeah, yeah, Gilbert. <laughs> but it was pretty hard to watch. What was good to watch, though, was the Hall of Fame enshrinement. Yes. I watched that. That sort of shit always makes me tear up a little bit. 
Peyton Manning. Do you, do you think it's the ultimate mm-hmm. accolade? Yeah. Being in the Hall of Fame for the pro football. Yeah. Wow. What, for pro football or just Hall of Fame in any sport? Well, in your pro, sport. Pro football. But uh, to me, Canton, that one. And the, just the, the way, way they, they do it? The way they t- – that's the, the whole ceremony oh. of it. The knock, the surprising him to get in, the bust. The, who's the guy that does it? David Baker. And he's got that whole script. Yeah. We'd like to thank you for your service to the game, for your, what you have done and what you will, will do in the future. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what you've done and what you do in the future. <laughs> but Peyton Manning could – would and should be the next commissioner of the NFL. I but think. how would that happen? Because Roger Goodell would then have to die. No, Roger Goodell's <laughs> have to die. Uh, doesn't ended, get voted out. No, and he's next CBA. He's, he has to. No, no, he doesn't have to. He's he's up, up for it again in the next CBA. But they won't get rid of him. Is there lucky? They might. They might get paid in the way he spoke about the, the future of the game and stuff. Like the commissioner. Yeah, I know. Yeah, do they really want a ex player in there thinking about the players yeah, know, and all that shit? Even the NFLPA, that a lot of the players hate it. That's the players' association. They reckon that's all corrupt and bullshit. Yeah, hundred percent, it is. Everything's corrupt. Those guys are angling to get into the NFL commission. Mm. Right. I'd love to be part of that world. Yeah, it'd be nuts. Eh? The money, money, so money. You're, what you're, you're doing? Your previews. Give it to us. NFC East. Oh, I thought we were saving that for last. All right, we'll save it for last because Chop and I both are invested in the NFC East. Yeah. So we'll leave it to last. Mm-hmm. We're going to cross to the AFC. The East? North. Oof. San, tune in. <coughs> <coughs> in order. The Cleveland Browns. Ooh. This is the year. Baker. And if it's not this year, it's never happening. Cool. Uh, so my notes here Barring injuries The Browns look set To flip the franchise And make a genuine run I Odell OJ Odell He will be back Back It's not going to be easy though Getting out of the north North is one of the harder divisions I think So where did you have So you had Who did you have second I haven't got there yet Okay We'll get there But Cleveland Baker This is a year He's got he Wants to get paid this year Yeah He's up for contract I think they started building last year. I think they could really. Everyone still looks at them as the Browns. You know what I mean? Because their history is just. I just don't shit. back. Baker. I know. I kind of don't, but I think this is this could be it. It has to be. If it's not this year, it's never happening. He had a great year last year. I think he builds. I think Odell back. I mean, they're good without him. Miles Garrett's a beast. Nick Chubb's a beast. I'm excited for the Browns. They got also the other one running back. Kareem Hunt. Yep. Landry. Jarvis Landry. Fuck, that's they a got good Austin team. Hooper at tight end. They got a good team, man. This could be the Fuck, year. Why did Atlanta let him go? Who Hooper? Austin Hooper. I don't know at all. Free, they paid him big. Did they? A big deal. Second in the AFC North, the Baltimore Ravens. <laughs> all right, predictability was a key word last year. Even Lamar said it about them. I want to see Lamar get back to his 2019 form. Mix it up. They did get some wide receivers in the first round this year. They picked up a wide receiver. They so did. I want to see them build again. I think they'll be great. I think Lamar's You reckon they're going to throw the deep ball a little bit further? Yeah, I think Lamar's going to go another step and get back to that MVP sort of form. Mm-hmm. What are your thoughts, Adam? Anything? I really like Lamar. So do I. I think he pushes further than what you're saying. I think they finished the top mm. AFC North. Mm-hmm. I think they're a de- like a legitimate AFC championship game. Me saying Cleveland is just me mixing it up, putting my balls on the line a little bit, just for something a little bit different, because the easy pick is obviously Baltimore there. But it's not, it's not easy, because it's not a tough a, division. No, it is a tough division, but the smart. But Baltimore didn't win the division last year. No. Nope. Have they lost much of their D? Because to me, their D was one of their they've biggest added, assets. They've added quite they've a bit. They've always been able to get a good D. Doesn't they, matter. They got even their offensive line they added. They got Villanueva from Pittsburgh. They got a couple other guys whose names escape me. Yeah. <coughs> but that's Baltimore. I think they focus <coughs> their focus on offense will be more about getting Lamar into small scrambling situations. It worked. It works for him. Why not? Like I don't know they want to protect him. Yeah, and I know that people are going to expect it, but even if you expect it, he can still get around you. <laughs> that's so just right. let him run. Pittsburgh Steelers, Oof. third in the division. I, I wrote to put them last. Here we go. I'm going to read this as I wrote it. So I just wrote it in like no. I wrote them off last year and they went 12 and 0. <laughs> which can only mean one thing. I was a year too early. <laughs> <laughs> Not Tomlin's fault. 
but I can't see him having a winning season this year. So you've completely removed them from the playoffs. Yep. I did and it last year. For the f- is it the first year. time in there in under Tomlin? Yeah. Uh, they'll have a losing season. Yeah, they went nine and uh, eight, eight and eight, eight once. Fuck. Fuck, that's so good. So you're saying what? Seven and ten? Uh, eight and eight, nine. To me, nine. even though Big Ben's lost all his way, he's got to fade. He's too old. He's not a very mobile quarterback. What's the core reason why you don't think they will? Depleted O line. Yeah. To Castro Villanueva. They lost Bud Dupree, which is a big. He big got, he went to Baltimore, didn't he? Tennessee. Tennessee. Their running back, their running game last year really needs to improve this year. They've got Najee Harris. It's a big shoulder, the big boots to fill for a rookie. But he's going to have to bail Ben out sometimes, I think. If Claypool goes down. They're fucked. They're fucked. I know. You've still got Juju. Yeah, Juju. Definitely got found out last year. Yeah. I think he's a bit soft. So do I. I reckon he's he's stop fucking dancing and yeah. just play. He's just a sook. I think it's, 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 whoever gets the number one Pittsburgh Steelers wide receiver role seems to think they just. Yeah. Something about it, hey. Yeah. Hopefully the running back's not the same. Hopefully he doesn't take up. Maybe it's not even the number one wide receiver. It's the number one offensive weapon. So it was Le'Veon Bell, Antonio Antonio Brown, now Juju. Juju. I'd say Najee Harris. Don't have a don't have a number one offensive option. Just let them all spread out. Yeah, but Mm -hmm. then you go back to San Antonio Holmes. But even San Antonio back there, he was their deep receiver. He wasn't their number one. Like, they still had Heinz Ward. They still had all these guys that would use. See Heinz Ward at the thing. So what about our... Shining Alan Fanica. That's nice. What about the last one? Last one is the Cincinnati Bengals. So... Mm. Another we, victim of a tough division. Yep. Burrow and Jamar Chase reuniting. That's going to be sick. Because he didn't play last year at LSU, Jamar Chase. He held out for COVID stuff. Oh, really? Yeah. So, he hasn't got the game. Everyone forgot about him a little bit. Jalen Smith won Certainly the did. Um, he still Heisman. What? He's what big? Uh, he's first round. Yeah, yeah he went like, like um, they had six. They had yeah. oh, did they have six? Yes, five, six, five. Yeah, oh, early four. I think four because I thought they were going to take Penny Sewell. Oh, yeah, even three. No, it was uh, Detroit. San Fran was three. San Fran was three. Mm. I think it was four or five. Yeah, four or five. I thought they, Detroit took Penny Sewell. Mm. But yeah, they took Jamar Chase. I think that's going to be massive for Joe Burrow. My here. thing for him, coming back from a knee, how, yeah. how is he going to lose his mobility? How is he going to be confident of getting out of the pocket? <sighs> Have they improved their O-line to save him a bit more? Because that's why he did his knee in the first fucking place. They did. Too many questions. Yeah. They brought in some good guys in the second round on the O-line. They got Jonah Williamson healthy. I think Zach Taylor isn't the coach. I think he's the most no-name coach in the league, and I don't think... I think they've so let him run for the cup. I think he's the first coach. last year. I think it's the last year. And I'm going to call it early. Lamb. Eric Bieniemy will be the next coach of the Cincinnati Bengals. Who? Didn't he get a job? No, he's still offensive coordinator at Kansas, Kansas City. City. Black guy. Uh, ah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. The black guy. Yeah. Well. <laughs> There's only one on the sidelines for Kansas. Okay. In the coaching department. <laughs> so you're really picking on Kansas City's like no, no, I'm just saying. He's, he's, no, I'm just saying. If you look at the, he's well, that's true. If you're looking at their sidelines, he's the old the guy. Coaches, he's a black guy. He's the old guy <laughs> with the glasses. That's no. Andy Reid. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, that's no, no, Framia no. Cronell. That's, 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 that's the one I was thinking of. And he's, at, he's at Houston, yeah. yeah. He to go for a bit. Even their coach, David He's David Cully. He's pretty old. He's never been a coordinator or anything. Well, before. NFL, he's, they, just, he's they a like, sacrificial they lamb. They like old coaches. He's a sacrificial lamb at Houston, though, I think. Yeah. Did you see uh, w- uh, the Jets quarterback with Wilson? Yeah, Zach Wilson. He had an absolute... 11 for 24. 11 from 24, two interceptions. No, if that's your starting cue fucking B, which who else have they got on the in, the in the list at the moment? Is Flacco still there? No, he's at the Eagles. Who is the backup at New York Jets? Mate, oh. I could tell you now that backup better be ready for the starting position because Zach Wilson is not starting. Oh, look, it's a young quarterback. It's yeah. first training camp. I mean... He's a Mormon. Let's relax. He's going to get chopped. Do you know what I heard today? Josh Rosen is fighting for and losing out for the th- third string quarterback role at um, San Fran. <laughs> really? I still remember that dickhead after. Okay, 12 we, teams made a mistake. 12 teams made a mistake. Shut up, you idiots. You Should got drafted number seven. Oh, mate. 
he was a joke. He must just be a sack in the locker room yeah, as well. Up, he's been to like four teams already. Well, he just gets thrown around. I don't think anyone was sorry to see him kicked out of the league. But he made his money. He was in the first round. He would have got guaranteed yeah, fucking twenty probably, mil. Yeah, he's probably earning twenty mil. Yeah, he'd be he's fine. gone home. He's probably got, he's probably probably comes from a rich family. Yeah, I think hundred percent. So he's not short. He stuff. Played big, at UCLA. Yeah, didn't he? one big game at UCLA. It's actually a very good game against Texas A and M. I think. Yeah. Why and is, that why is he um, at San Fran? Don't they have enough quarterbacks? Yeah. Uh, the third, I can't remember who the other one. Jimmy G, name. Trey Lawrence, Trey Lance, Trey Lance. and then apparently like Trevor that. Lawrence is lighting it up for Jacksonville. Yeah. Excited for that. Do you reckon t- any word on Tebow? Yeah, he's playing. He's, he's been. He's on the roster. Yeah, I wonder if he make. The they final threw a couple of passes to him. Um, and he, I reckon you know, they just keep him, keep him on for. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, media highs and Wildcat. He can still play quarterback. He's fucking huge, he's big boy. Like, oh. big Bible reading man. <laughs> hey, <laughs> just loves football. Loves his fucking chugging football. football. <laughs> uh, before we do sign off tonight. I do want to pay a little bit of respects to a long-serving Carlton football club member, uh, player, ex-captain. Jesus, I thought someone died. I was like, what the fuck Raven have I missed Teague. here? Carlton did die, Chris. <laughs> They've been dead for a long time, bro. Mark Murphy. Retiring. Officially retiring after this weekend. He will get to his 300th game as a medi sub because it counts as a game. So no asterisks or anything like that. No, they'll they'll play him from the start this week. No, medi sub apparently. Why? I don't get it. If it I, They're not making I, the finals. Why buy? I'm with you. I'm with you. Just if they don't start him, him, I'm sorry, that's pathetic. This is worse than having Harry Mackay in your back line and as you call him a medalist last week, you fucking bubble. So on Saturday. <laughs> so what if he doesn't come on at all through the game? <laughs> That'll piss me off so much. It still much. comes. It still nah, he has to play. If I'm another He's player, not if, I'm another, if I'm another player, I'll You'd sack Fake just him. for that oh, if he yeah. does that. He's, He's been hard work. done by his career, I think, Mark Murphy. He's been a great a player. Wrong, wrong club, wrong, wrong time. It's just it's surrounded by shit teams for a long time. Just imagine if he's, he, instead of, yeah, you know, Carlton. I know he's a number one pick, but he could have actually gone for Brisbane under father-son rule. Mm-hmm. But imagine he's not the number one pick and he goes to a Hawthorne. Hawthorne. And he plays in that era. That was the buddy draft. Yeah, no, it was. No, it wasn't. 2004, was it? Oh, but no, it was 2004. Was he was a year yeah. after. Yeah, imagine if he. I compare him very similar to a Cochin. Yeah, but just you know, yeah. Cochin was, was a shit team draft. for a long time, and then yeah. look what happened. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Cochin's never going to like the same draft. As and him, you watch Paul right? Bastard. We'll make finals next year now. And after the weekend, I, that was so bad against. You Gold need Coast. a new coach. It's we've done it. I was getting a tattoo done over. while it was happening, so I was watching the game. Mm. So it just Proper started turning shit. So I was like, I'm in emotional pain and physical pain right now. And I, didn't <laughs> know, I don't know which one was worse. I'm having a breakdown. Well. I'm not even going to talk about the Eagles, eh? They just How weird was that? Lightning, come back out, turn it on. It's like, why the fuck have you not played like this for the whole... Again, simple thing. We don't play four-quarter football. Because they're a joke. They're it's a joke of a club. But how funny yeah, was it Lightning? I've nice, never seen Adam. that before. The Eagles... I, look, I don't, don't get me wrong. It, you guys have not even reached the pain barrier yet. Mm. So for me, when you know that your club is turning the corner and is going back up the ladder, you got to reach the pain level. So it's what Hawthorne's done the last couple of years. You've got to be at near the bottom. You've got to what Carlton's done for the last 10 years. 20. Until you reach that pain level, the only outlier in this has been Geelong. Mm. Every other team, including Sydney, you have to go we to the it. bottom. You have to regenerate. We did it. You have we to did. get these we're young. Bottom. We got a wooden spoon. Yeah. No, I was saying, I, did I went through, remember? Yeah, yeah but we Every know, but we know this. Every team has to do it. Eagles haven't done it yet. So what this, do you mean? We've got on the mis- table with fucking oh, Ken Judge. That was 2010. Hey, we're talking about now. You're not going to. Re- this list is not going to come back up the ladder until they go down the ladder. They're sitting at seventh in the ladder. This that's not you. They need to go down. Yeah. So that if that doesn't happen next year, and you fight and scrap and get sixth in the ladder or fifth or whatever, fool's gold. You won't win the flag. It's relevant. You're just going to waste another year. Go down. Get a high draft pick. Man, that list is fucking needs an overhaul, but it won't happen because has the it, we're Eagles getting... will suspect they'll win. They'll be can challenge next year. Is Adam Simpson signed on? Yes, for three more years. The rumor has it if Robert Harvey doesn't get the Collingwood job, he's coming over here. Hmm, that's yeah. I that's think you should trade Nat Nui. Get something for him while you can, and just clear out. <laughs> what would you get for him? <laughs> Nothing. 
I'll give you Zach Fisher. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll, I'll throw in Sam Petreski Seaton as a little sweetener. A little sweetener. And Teague. And Matt Cottrell. And coach. Matt Cottrell. Caleb Marchbank. Will Setterfield. This has been any given time. <laughs> <laughs>